is Tuesday the 13th of August 2019 and I'm at Rye in East Sussex to do a walk along the Saxon Shore Way. I now need to walk through the town to join the route of Saxon Shore Way. Now at Strand Quay in Rye crossing the River Tillingham and I'm now on the route of Saxon Shore Way. There's a bit of road walking coming up. After just over a quarter of a mile of road walking, we finally take this path beside the River Breed. Great view over to the left now. Canberra Castle. In sight. And this is now the path we're following beside the river. The path continues as a grassy path beside the river. Good views all around. The weather's not looking that great. It is supposed to be dry today, which is why I've come. Looks a bit better over there. At this junction we take the left path down the side of that field towards Camber Castle. Now passing Camber Castle, which apparently was completed in 1540. And there is the path continuing. I've yet to see a Saxon Shore Way sign. I'm following the route in the quite old guidebook. Another impressive view of Camber Castle. Now continuing along this wide path. The first Saxon shore sign I've seen. Also the Royal Military Canal path. We're now going along this small road. Way marking has been very poor so far. We now follow that road ahead for about half a mile. We take this path off the road. We're now in the village of Winchelsea. We're following the Royal Military Canal. At this point, the path is long and straight. Still beside the Royal Military Canal. The right bank is tree-lined. There's a much clearer view of the Royal Military Canal now. And now ahead and to the left are what is known as the Pet Levels. This flat area. And there's our clear path of Saxon Shore Way continuing. Bending the canal and a great view ahead is actually starting to rain, despite the forecast of a ridge of high pressure and dry. Now into an area with lots of sheep by the canal. It's still raining. If it keeps raining, it's going to limit my videoing. Interesting squeeze styles on this path. And it's continuing ahead, but more overgrown, the Saxon Shore Way. The path is a lot more overgrown, but the good news is it's stopped raining. Still great views of this pet levels. The overgrown path continues. That's looking back the way I've just come. The path beside the Royal Military Canal has become clearer again. Great views in both directions, over to the right. And I think that's the sea wall. You can see a bus going along there.
and near Saxon Shore Way continuing. Much newer style on the path. We continue ahead. Continuing beside the Royal Military Canal but coming towards the end of it. A signpost directed the path to cross the Royal Military Canal, which I'm now doing on this bridge. And there's a great view of the Strait Canal from the other side of the bridge. I think this is the end of the Royal Military Canal. After a terrible 200 yards or so along a road, Saxon Shoreway turns left up this path. The path climbs and we get this view out to sea, over to the left. Entering the National Trust area of Fairlight, and there's the path continuing. Great views over to the right inland. And there's our path. And now we get truly superlative views ahead. Looks like the path's going to go downhill. More spectacular views on this descent. Now come to this ominous sign. Hope I can find the way. Now walking along Lower Waits Lane, which was mentioned in that diversion, and interestingly the guidebook is describing the diversion. So that footpath must have been closed for over 20 years. And also I need to apologise to the weather forecasters for my remarks earlier. The ridge of high pressure seems to well and truly have arrived. It's beautiful sunshine now. Never seen a Saxon Shoreway sign like that before. And now we go up here. It's called Channel Way. Decent sea view over to the left. We're still following this unmade road called Channel Way. Now entering Hastings Country Park. Saxon Shoreway continues along this path. That's looking back the way I've just climbed. Astonishing views to see. And there's the path climb. I've been on this wide path, but we now go up that narrow path there. Over to the right there's a view of Fairlight Village with its church. Now taking this path, Warren's Glen. I'm starting to doubt I'm on the right path, but still. I've turned off onto this narrow path which was signposted to Fairlight Glen. I know Saxon Shoreway goes through Fairlight Glen. The path goes down and down into Warren Glen and it's stepped in places as you can see and it's very heavily wooded here. It's heavily wooded here. The piece is being ruined by constant noise from farm machinery. I've now joined a wide path and I'm pretty sure that this is Saxon Shoreway because we're approaching Fairlight Glen now. I think I've been off route for a little while but I'm back on route now. Now I have to ascend this long flight of steps. Now in this flat area I think those steps were descending out of Warren Glen. To the left, 
there's a sea view. Here comes the steep descent into Fairlight Glen, and there it is. There's a way mark. And we have to go down this very steep path. Down here. Continuing the descent into Fairlight Glen, we've got to climb out of it up there as well. This walk, or this bit of this walk, is very strenuous. So be warned if you come this way. The wooded lower reaches of Fairlight Glen. Now on the climb out of Fairlight Glen. It's still two miles to Hastings and we're still on Saxon Shore Way as you can see by that way mark. And the path is stepped again, climbing out of Fairlight Glen. See what I mean by steep? Great views ahead along the, the coast and we're starting to descend again. I think there's another glen coming up. Now in this lovely open area of Heathland, the next glen is Ecclesbourne Glen. We're not descending to it quite yet. Good luck to them. And we're now on, on this open area of Heathland. And there's the clear path of Saxon Shore Way. Now starting to descend in earnest to Ecclesborn Glen. I've now had to turn right on a diversion. I hope these yellow arrows are there to follow. We're descending by steps on the diversion path into Ecclesborn Glen. I've turned right on this path, it was signposted the diversion. We seem to be going right up the glen. This is going to add a considerable distance to the walk. The diversion is now ascending incredibly steeply. We're now climbing out of Ecclesborn Glen. I'll ask you a question. Do you think there were lots of those yellow arrows to follow? Guess what the answer is. Of course there wasn't. I'm now at a car park for Hastings Country Park. Show me a country park or a golf course and I'll show you route finding problems. Which is what I've had in this country park remorselessly. Saxon Shore Way, I'm on East Hill, the diversion's over. We're now just descending into Hastings. Now rapidly descending to Hastings and the end of Saxon Shore Way. The wind is really picking up. Bad weather is forecast for tomorrow. Now descending the steps beside the funicular railway that goes up East Hill. Great view over Hastings from these steps. At the end of these steps is the end of the whole Saxon Shore Way. The final few steps of Saxon Shore Way. So, this is where Saxon Shore Way ends, and with this video, the whole of Saxon Shore Way, the whole long distance footpath, is available on my channel. 
and thanks for watching.